Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you! See, this is what I... Uh, fuck you! I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, let's, let's... For God is so... Loved world the... He gave his only son. For... Makes no sense. Okay, I'm 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 generally scared, guys. Let's look at something else here. Maybe we should first do the. Thingy. Is that it? Samsung. Is that Sam? That was Samsung. Yeah. And where's the, the panel? Shouldn't it be here? That's the bathroom. So it should be... Ah, there we go. Okay. Take first combo scrap. Zero. To open blah blah property. Okay, so this is the combination for the locker zero dash an Oya board. Awesome. Hello, hello. Who are you, Oscar? What do you want to come back? Yeah. I mean, I kind of suspect that this is just a stupid prank. Yeah, you know. But... ones okay so uh, let's see um first panel is behind this not thinking of the burned out light da, da, da. fifty one oh five oh one property of Sam private Okay, read stories. Heaven at the edge of the world. Private, do not read. Allegra and her scouting party peered down wearily through the dense canopy of rusting leaves from the perch high in the forest branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacier basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. His? I thought the first mate was a she, but okay. We have to hurry, Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. 
She shouted no and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell towards the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked up, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge. A head of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But as the fingers stood and the water poured, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair and the hands and body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate. He, she, spoke in a soft, clear voice. Captain? Illogical. The Amazonian queen said, she is one of us now, she is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt and her crew readied their wolves for swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, that's the love of my life and you can't have her. Okay, a little more cheerful. Um, okay. So where's the... Oh, it's on the other side. Misfits. October 29th, special plus guest, Maidenhead. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous. After a minute, she put her arm around me. It was oh. so close and whispered in my ear. I love you. I really like you. Oh, well. I just nodded my head and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. Yeah, she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Yeah. Okay, so... Ah. And a combination, so it was 0, 5, 0, and 1. Too easy. Oh, cigarettes, really? Lonnie came over today, but everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no, there was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. So she added laughing into her diary. Okay. Um, so the cigarette pack, uh, shirts with the security tags attached. So she she's stealing. Um, yeah. Um, gentleman, beautiful cover, shiny or dirty. Um, so she. Well. Great! This looks like everybody has a secret except me. So what's my secret? No, this is not it. Okay, so this is not the thing. 
Oh, it says basement. Okay. Dark and stormy night, and I'm heading to the basement. Wait, this is not the right way, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Jeez, I'm... Can't I move this thing here? Because there is a door behind it. Hmm. I mean... Anything I can do here? Nope. Hmm. It's probably where the torture chamber is. Okay, wait, basement. Was that it? Nope. Okay. Basement, other side. Yeah, make me make me walk a little bit into my doom. I hate jump scares. Oh, jeez. I just want I turned everything on in here. Yeah. Grab chips. Potato chips. Binder. Read note. Dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. I enjoyed the f flavorful potatoes and also it was weird being around your parents for that long, but it was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Very curious, your close friend and confidant, Lonnie D. Fancy man, quiet. Dear Miss De Soto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host of the festivities at your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was the most enjoyable of the more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. I especially appreciate the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste and a refined air. Let's do it again sometime next year, shall we? Madame Samantha Greenbar Esquire. Okay. Um. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. Uh, uh, yeah, plop, whatever. Okay. Plug. Caitlin is for kind, amazing, intelligent, talented, lighthearted, important, nice. Okay, good. That's excellent. There's nothing here, is there? Nope. Don't look like it. Well, this is still on, so people can't really be that far. Oh, read letter. Read college. Dear Samantha Congregation, I'm pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track on the Read College. Blah, blah, blah. Believe you have much to contribute. Blah, 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 blah. January 24, 1995. So this is half a year ago. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me. Stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? Oh. I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like 
12. Oh. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Aw, oh, poor Sam. Guys, I'm completely understanding. We're in 1961. Okay, that we don't need. Turn green. Someone cut out his face. That's kind of creepy. Oh, one of Dad's books. Oh. Dear Terence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. An author's first published manuscript is a moment's occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears. And in this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal shone was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible <laughs> dime store science fictional day ex marina. Oh, more than one. That's awesome. The great authors speak of their life's milieu in clear and honest tones, the lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. Continued on surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that renders of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungry or readers. But I urge you to shed artifice. <laughs> you can do better. With a father's love and encouragement, Richard Greenbrier, PhD. Oh, well, okay, that's fair enough. Oh. Uh. Uh, is that a birth certificate? No, it's a petition. Nationalization, so she was not, oh, she was Canadian, okay. Okay, that's... Hmm. Wait, that's not where we came from, huh? Okay. Wow, what a mess. What a... Huge basement, too. Okay, if there is a key hidden in a small corner here somewhere, I'm never ever gonna find it. Okay, so let's check here first. Wow, ancient dude. Yolanda de Soto, Hector Mario de Soto, blah, 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 Rancho Mexico. Oh, can you say raw? What's the date on this? Uh, Dear Sam, today's Spanish lessons, fly, Moscow, blah, whatever. I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You love Mexico, I think, probably. The nature here is totally different them back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mystery. Oh, in a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed and I am almost for your and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we are together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Okay, enough about that. The last letter got to me the day before we started driving back north. We'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. Haha. <laughs> Two are more Lani. Okay, so she loves my sister. Ah, uh, that's... That's... Okay. Okay. 
Girl Scout, Band formerly known as Cub Scout, Set List, Role Model Authority, Main Squeeze, Telling Stories, Instruction First Made, Self Girl Scout Denial. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Two cases brandy, two caps. I can't read this. Relief this management shall hold for some time. Okay, whatever. Do we have a flashlight? That was probably not so smart. Okay. Okay, so there's a safe here. We don't know the combination to that. Cassette. It's a form, fine jewelry, custom engravings. So there's a payment at the green bar. Oh, okay. So she made some uh, Girl Scouts self. Mm. Well, I'm gonna try this. If this is some obviously copyrighted music, I'm gonna have to cut it out. Okay, no idea. Some heavy metal crap. Okay, let's see, nothing here, oh, it's like a drag, the first time was in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me, hey, hey. <laughs> we still need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Nope, no, no. Definitely not reading any more of that. Well, that's cute. Okay, wait. Um, uh, okay. Oh, can we open this? Aha. Turn to house because I have up to 10. Letters, names, dates, initials, anything you can. Ported. Okay. So. Now I'm kind of sort of stuck because I don't have any key. I don't have any combination. And. I have only locked doors. Hmm. At least nothing jumped at me again. Hmm. 
<laughs> this storm won't stop. Well, um, So let's see, let's review. We have we have all uh, this locked thing, we have the 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 safe downstairs. Um and there is still the uh, dark room that needs to be uh opened. Um this is a bit annoying. Uh because I think I have searched through everything uh, but clearly I missed something somewhere mm, oh yeah and there's the the door with the thing in front of it yeah, still locked very annoying we have this I think we did. Yeah. Okay, so um, before I wander around aimlessly and something does jump at me and I get a heart attack, um, I'll stop this here. I have no idea how long this recording is going to be. I suspect this is another two episodes. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, as always, I, I really appreciate it if I can hear from you guys. And I'm gonna think about what I may have missed. Um, I don't really know right now, but we'll see. Um, yeah. I just wish these weird noises weren't there. Anyway, have a good night.